as I was passing by the wagon, I noticed this sign. This is very interesting. It says, Napoleon stayed in this chateau. Um, when he was, it says, the 21st of February, 1807, to the 1st of April, 1807. So Napoleon was here. So indeed, he saw it was a good place and a strategic location for his uh, uh, management, for his management of his invasion of Russia, because uh, that's where they were going, I presume. How about that? Very interesting. Okay, so we're here on the pier now in Ostrada, and you almost think that we're somewhere by the sea, because if you don't believe me, look at the birds behind. Those are seagulls, and we're substantially 100 miles from, from, uh, from the coast here. Not quite, maybe 75 anyway. And uh, it's, uh, it feels very, uh, very much like the sea. Behind me, apparently, is the entrance uh, or the uh, end, if you're coming from the north, to the Elblanc Canal. The Elblanc Canal is considered one of the great, uh, uh, well, I'd say wonders, attractions of Poland that you want to see when you come here. And you can actually go on it as well. It runs from uh, Elblanc, uh, which is near Gdansk, which you'll pass through if you're driving on this Route 7, the National Route 7, from Warsaw to Gdansk. Uh, we'll pass through there ourselves today. Um, but uh, the canal runs from Elblanc to Ostruda, or from Ostruda to Elblanc, depending on which way you look at it. But at any rate, that's the to uh, Elblanc is to the north of us. So anyway, this is one of the lakes where people come to enjoy themselves during the summer. And you can even see there's quite a good sized runabout boat, motorized boat over here uh, going in. Of course, during the summer, we we'll see, uh, you know, many boats on here, particularly sailboats, as I said before, because this is a, a very popular place, uh, not just here, but the Missouri in general is very popular. It's still very pretty. I mean, it's nice in a way, even though it's a bit chilly today, uh, it's nice in a way to be here because there are not so many people. So you can kind of, I mean, we're on the pier, there's no one else here, and in a way that's kind of nice. It's also the middle of a working day. Uh, as, uh, as we head up, and not tourist season, as we head up to Gdansk. At any rate, this is Ostroda. You can see there's a lot of hotels, conference centers uh, gathered around the lake, particularly over here on this side. And uh, let's go talk to the seagulls, see if they have anything to say. The trick is to see how close you can get to them before they fly away. This is very difficult. You have to pretend you don't care at all. And you also have to hope that none of them has seen an Alfred Hitchcock movie called The Birds. Uh-oh, they're talking now. Who is this uh, person? Are they going to let me sit down? This is the question. Ah, I, that was it. Well, that's as close as you can get. And that's me from Ostruda. It's time to uh, say goodbye to my friends, say goodbye to you. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Poland Daily Travel as we head north on route, national route number seven to Gdansk. Stay with us.
Don't be surprised if on your trip to Gdansk you decide that it looks a lot like Amsterdam. They are old-time sister cities as part of the Hanseatic League. That's the great trading league of several hundred years ago. Those tall pointed houses mark the architecture of the time. Gdansk today is a beautiful thing to see. The colorful facades of the long market tempt a stroll. This Polish port city on the Baltic has been known for its amber trade for a thousand years. There is much to say and do in Gdansk, but for the purposes of this uh, series of episodes, we are only going to be looking at the old town and taking a stroll around and talking with a couple of friends. This is the first of many subsequent visits to Gdansk. Like Warsaw, it is full of riches and shares a place on the coast with its two sister cities, Sopot and Gdynia, home to some of the most momentous events of the 20th century. Gdansk was the place where World War II started and was also the place where the Solidarity Movement rose and became prominent enough in the world and in Poland to change the nature of society in Europe. It's a great city, and without further delay, let's go walk about. Thanks for watching Poland Daily. My name is Will Richardson, and we appreciate it. Like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, and please subscribe. And now, let's take a walk around Gdansk.